Madam Speaker. Good morning, Honorable Speaker. Morning, morning. Uh, we are what? Since we're 34, I think we should start at half past now. Honorable members, um, we've received one apology so far. Of course, there'll be two because the deputy speaker is not here. We've received an apology from uh, Honorable Singh. And that's all I have. Shall we then look at the agenda? Can Madam somebody? Speaker. Yes, yes, Honorable oh. Mr. Kato. I wish to register the apology of the Chief Whip. Oh, Chief Whip, yes, sorry. Chief Whip, okay. Chief Whip, okay. Um, um, okay, shall we now consider the agenda? Sorry, uh, okay. Honorable Speaker, good morning. Yes, good morning, Honorable Imam. Honorable Imam, yes. Are you adopting the agenda? Okay. Honorable Imam is gone. Can any, somebody move for the adoption of the agenda, please? Honorable members. Good morning, Honorable Speaker. Lesoma would like to move for the adoption of the agenda. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Lesoma. Um, shall we then uh, proceed to look at the minutes of the 22nd of September? Minutes of the 22nd of October, September. Okay. Um, Are they a true reflection of the discussions we had? Honorable members. Okay. Proceed, proceed. Who's who's scrolling this? Someone is scrolling uh, and we're still stuck in one ear. That's better. Thank you. Honorable members, anyone would like would anyone like to move for the adoption of the minutes? Good morning, Speaker. Good morning, Good morning Honorable Boroto. I would like to move for the adoption of the minutes. Thank you very much, Honorable Boroto. Any seconders, honorable members? Honorable members, are there any seconders to the adoption of the minutes? Good morning, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Frolik here. I second the adoption of the minutes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Frolik. Uh, minutes adopted and seconded. And we then now proceed to matters arising out of the minutes. Now, just to say that um, on my part, uh, the section 89 motion, um, the panel uh, has been fully appointed. Um, 
Of course, there are issues which are being dealt with of the service level agreements, um, which are being attended to by the office of Mr. Kaso. Obviously then once that finalized, I'm sure that should be finalized by Friday, which is tomorrow. And once that is finalized, it, finalized, it means that the panel will immediately start its work. You'll recall that we were delayed by the fact that um, I had I took the matter on a legal um, review just to check whether we were on track in view of the fact that two parties had raised a serious concern about concerns about one of the candidates. So the report came back and the report came back saying, yes, indeed, uh, we should withdraw the candidate. And, and then of course that we can't, we also couldn't go out and advertise for the one slot, but that we needed to look at the names available. Um, and we have since done that. And we have replaced, as you are aware now, because I've written to parties to inform them that we are replacing Honor Mr. Professor Callum with a advocate senior counsel, Masilo Tape. So that's where we are. That process is there now. Thank you very much. Um, will will uh, Mr. Castro take us through the rest of the matters arising? Thank you, Madam Speaker. We would just like to report that uh, the matter raised last week regarding the position in committee section, that issue is need receiving attention. And uh, we appreciate the agency of the matter and we're doing all possible to make sure that the position is indeed taken care of. Second, the issue of supplementary questions for this afternoon. Uh, a motion to that effect was uh, adopted by the House on Tuesday. And the uh, questions will be taken, uh, will be taken uh, after the questions for this afternoon. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you very much, Mr. Castle, honorable members. Uh, that's it. That was, those were matters and, and uh, uh, matters arising which is our item number four. We then proceed, honorable members, if there are no other matters uh, arising, uh, to receive a report by committee section. I'm aware that uh, Advocate Dao is not here today and that uh, Ms. Nombula Giba, who is a section manager, will take us through. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Uh, good morning to all the members as well as my colleagues. I would like to apologize, Madam Speaker. I'm unable to show my video due to technical glitches on my side. Uh, also, Madam Speaker, with your permission, uh, allow me to only focus on those slides where there are updates since we last reported in the NAPC. I would like to start with the first slide where I want to report that, Madam Speaker, uh, there are 32 bills before committees. And on slide number four, I wish to report that the National Health Insurance Bill before the PC on Health will now be uh, finalized on the 30th of November. The second slides for reporting will be slides number five and six. Uh, we have bills before the PC on Transport as well as a bill before PC on uh, forestry. PC on transport will have public hearing schedules for the fourth term for the transport appeal tribunal amendment bill. And on slide six, national fed and forest fire amendment bill, the committee is continuing with his public hearing in the Eastern Cape this weekend. On slide uh, seven and eight, we have the housing consumer protection bill before PC on housing, on human settlement, as well as the railway safety bill. These two committees are planning to hold their public hearings in November. Uh, we move to, the, to slide number nine, Madam Speaker. On slide number nine, we are only reporting that the electoral laws amendment bill will be finalized on the 11th of October by the PC on Home Affairs. On slide number 10, we have a 
slide number 10, before the PC on transport as well. Here, Madam Speaker, the committee has advertised the marine pollution prevention of pollution from ships amendment bill. And the deadline for submission of inputs is the 21st of October, 2022. We move to slide number 12. Slide uh, on this slide, we wish to also report that the PC on police have also extended their uh, receipts of uh, public submissions. So the committee have therefore revised the date of finalization of the 30th of September on the protection of constitutional democracy against terrorist and related activities amendment and period. Slide number 16. Before the standing committee on finance, we have the general laws amendment bill. On this bill, we have on slide number 16, uh, colleague, please, sorry. 16. We can skip number 16 and go to number 17, number 18, please. On slide number 18, Madam Speaker, we have a matter before PC on women, youth and persons with disabilities. This committee is also planning to finalize its work between the 4th and the 5th of October. They will still apply for, for approval from the Office of the House Chairperson for these two meetings in order for them to finalize their work on them. Then we move to the slides on petitions. Slide 19, we have a petition that has been finalized by the Portfolio Committee on Basic Education. And lastly, Madam Speaker, on slide number 20, we have aimed to finish dates for the two petitions that are before the, the two committees, as indicated, the 11th of the 4th of October, as well as the 11th of October. That concludes my report, Madam Speaker. Thank you very much. Thank you very, on, very much, Honorable uh, Ms. Kiba, uh, Ms. Nomvula Kiba. Uh, honorable members, are there any issues you would like to raise in relation to this report? Any matters relevant to the work of the committee section? None, honorable members. Uh, I don't see up, Your name is up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ms. Kalipi, honorable member. No, it's fine, Speaker. I just want to get a clarity. I didn't hear Ms. Giba very well on slides number 19 that talks about the GPV. Uh, if you can, uh, she can come back and um, uh, clarify that one on the GPV. And then secondly, Speaker, I heard that Mr. Kaso is saying that the, uh, the position uh, will be, is receiving an attention, but it does not give us uh, the time frame uh, on the matter that we raised last week pertaining this uh, section that you are dealing with now. Thanks, Speaker. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Kalipi. Ms. Kiba. Oh, thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I'm trying to look at slide number 19, a matter pertaining to GPV on slide number 19, uh, as referred to by Honorable um, Kalipi. Uh, Madam Speaker, I seem not to see anything related to it on this slide that she referred to, can she maybe assist further, Madam Speaker? Thank you very much, uh, uh, Ms. Kiba. You do not see it, but would you be able to report at the next meeting? But I also want you to take into consideration that we're going on constituency period for the next two weeks. Shall we then receive a report at the next meeting? We, we will certainly, Madam Speaker. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Kiba. Honorable members, I will now allow Dr. Mbata to present the report from the Bill's office. Good morning, Honorable Speaker, Honorable members and colleagues. On our report, we have updates on slides two and five. On slide two, honorable speaker, on the list of legislation currently before parliament, which is the list distributed together with this report, section A of the report um, indicate that there are nine bills on the NA order paper. Honorable speaker, I would like to indicate that the house passed the expropriation bill 
and fundraising amendment bill late last night. So the bills were transmitted to the NSOP for, con for concurrence. Therefore, the total number of bills on the order paper, it's no longer nine, it's now seven. And honorable speaker, the total number of bills transmitted to the NSOP for concurrence this week is six. And next slide, which is slide number five. Slide number five please on slide number five we are indicating that two bills were recently passed by parliament and are to be sent to the president for assent the first one is the financial sector and deposit insurance bill and the second one is the financial sector and deposit insurance administration bill uh, the second official language of these bills honorable speaker it's Sitwana. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you very much, Dr. Mbata. Honorable members, are there any comments on the report? Any comments on the report from the Bills Committee, Bills Office? None. If there are none, then honorable members, we then proceed and invite uh, Honorable Lisuma to present uh, the parliamentary program. Good Thank morning. You. Thank you very much. Good morning, honorable speaker and, and honorable members and, and, and colleagues on the platform. Thank you very much. We are honorable speaker in week 26 on 29th of September, which we've got only one scheduled item, which is the questions to the honorable president. And uh, I'll request that the rest, uh, we take it as right in terms of tomorrow. Uh, if you may allow me, uh, Honorable Speaker, that we proceed and uh, present the, the fourth quarter report, which I will deal only with the framework. If I will, I will wait for your guidance on that, if I may proceed. Proceed, proceed, uh, Honorable Sum. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Just to remind members that the framework of the fourth quarter report is informed by the framework that we adopted in the beginning of the calendar year, 2022. So nothing has changed, safe to say that uh, we will continuously populate the international uh, fora that the, uh, the parliament of the Republic uh, is it's, it's engaging in as we receive the diaries thereof. When we come back from the recess, honorable speaker, which our recess is from the 3rd to the 10th of September, coming back on the week of the 27th, which will be the 10th of, of October, I meant 10th of October. Uh, it will be the usual one, but safe to say that in a summary form, uh, uh, Honorable Speaker and members is that it will be BRR uh, weeks uh, from week 20, uh, 27, 28, uh, then on the week 29, then we'll start the hybrid sittings, which then will be the which we will schedule all the bills that are due to be scheduled as indicated. And the program has been circulated, taking from your council last week, honorable speaker, allow me to confirm that nothing has changed as circulated to honorable members. For now, if I may put that uh, mm -hmm. a, a, a rider, uh, which will continue. And then what is most to highlight on that week uh, is on the 26th of October, which will be the hybrid, it's a, it's a mini plenary, which will be held in, in the city of Cape Town City Hall, medium term budget policy statement, where all members will be present. Then I will, will continue chair in terms of the scheduling of the cluster questions. Um, it, it applies as we have agreed upon in terms of sequencing thereof. So I will, I'm not gonna talk to that. Other than that, honorable speaker, probably just to pick up on week that uh, week, um, uh, week, uh, week, 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 week 30 on the 3rd of November that the Honorable President is scheduled to appear before the House for Q&A's oral. oral. Uh, then we'll move to week 31. I'll just go through it and uh, highlight that on the 10th of November, then there will be mini plenaries and the subject for discussions will be populated as we received it 
from various political parties which are scheduled for sponsor their motions for debate at a mini plenary session. Uh, the other one that would like to highlight, honorable speaker, is week 32, whereby uh, on the, on the, uh, okay, on the, on the, on the, uh, I just want to get where the deputy president will be appearing. Oh, there you are. On the 17th of November, the honorable deputy president will be before the house for a, 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 a Q and A oral a, engagement with the members. And then the rest in terms of the framework, honorable speaker is the same. Safe to say that uh, as the committee 80 seat, there are reports and their bills, we will populate it and be circulated as usual. Other than that, the framework stands, stands the same and the items that appear is what has been circulated to members, nothing has changed. Uh, with that, uh, honorable chair, you allow me to close by saying that at a chief Whips forum yesterday, they raised the issue which it's for the biz office to deal with, which they do just for the point of emphasis that the bills that are due for completion by the NA, whether it's section 75 or 70, uh, 76, they will appear in terms of the time frames, in terms of when they are supposed to do to be due to be finalized so that the committees can work backwards with the assistance of the chairs of chairs uh, for various chairpersons. Other than that, honorable speaker, we really thank the opportunity. We'll take the questions if they are land sports that one didn't cover. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, honorable Lisuma. Uh, I have here on the system, the hand of honorable Sheikh Imam. Honorable Sheikh. Thank you, thank you, Madam Speaker. Sorry, I got cut off uh, earlier on the uh, network problem. Yeah, I just wanted to raise my concern, uh, uh, Madam Speaker. Something I've raised before, which you've acknowledged, was the you know no opportunities for smaller parties on the mini plenaries, uh, uh, Madam Speaker. I can tell you, since 2019, we've never had one opportunity. It's going into the fourth year now, and I know that you've accommodated that by having mini plenaries, but still the smaller parties like ourselves we have sub, uh, uh, provided substantial motions for debate and discussion is not being accommodated. I just ask you to please consider that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, honorable members, I'm sure you've noted that Honorable Lisuma, and I'm sure this is a matter you would want to discuss in a term at the Chief Whips Forum and, and, uh, and come with a solution to the program committee. As, is there any other hand? Anyone would like to comment on the programming of parliament? None. I think we've done very well, honorable members. In that case, then we've come to the end of that discussion. Are there any announcements uh, from your side, Mr. Castle? Not from my side, Madam Speaker. Thank you so much. None. Thank you very much, honorable members. We've done very well. It is exactly what 30 minutes actually, and we're done with our programming committee. The meeting is on Jan, agenda, honorable members, until next week. Thank you very much. Thank you. Recording stopped.